so hey guys welcome back to the react native course in the last video we have talked about that how to create a grid grid view in react native in this video we are going to talk about component in loop with flat list so let's see flat list is one of the most important topic in react native so let's understand the how to loop a component in flat list so let me remove the my existing code base okay now let me add a view and inside the view i have gonna create one component called flat list so we have to import the flat list from the react native i've already imported that and the first path is it is the first props okay it will take called data and let me pass the data which i have already created which you can see that and after that we have to pass a component like render item the component which i want to render so let it could be called uh, i have to create one component and i have to render that component okay so there's a multiple ways uh, we can render item so we can create an inline component here like this and we can write our logic as we have seen in the last video okay but now is now is this time we are gonna do some magic like magic thing let me show you how we have to done like this so how we you know loop the component so we gonna get the item dot name and item dot name so we can see that we get the item and we you know render the item like this but there is another another way we can do like we create a component and just we loop that component so how we can do that let me create a const name component okay we can create a name component like this and we're gonna return this whole content like let me cut this from here and paste it here okay now after that we gonna destructure the item okay and instead of writing this you know inline component and make it uh, unreadable so let's make it more readable like this so we have to make it like this uh, like this okay now we can see that it also works well man but render item is fun not a fun thing. okay so what i'm missing here let me fix it here quickly so we have to do like this uh name component and we get the item from here let me get the item quickly and we have to pass this item to the children component okay and the life gets sorted so we can do like this and the code if you do like this so it the code will be more readable and you are getting that we are getting some error in counter to challenge with the same key so we are passing the same key with the some children and that's why it's showing error so we have to pass another property called key extractor and we get the item and we have to pass the item dot id as in the key extractor okay now after that uh, there is one more thing about that flat list that whenever we do flat list now we can easily style the item here styles styles dot okay we have to styles dot uh, name okay now we can see that we have a good looking ui stuff now if you you know click on there and type just press so we have some lot of uh props we have called on end reach on end threshold on refresh on so on so you know flatlist has this lot of properties called on refresh on refresh on threshold like whenever we get at the bottom of this uh, list so that could be help in in the next series so if you're building some project but yeah flat list is one of the most important topic in the react native and flat list uh, how does this work basically so if you're using flat list so whenever whatever the item is on the component ui that will uh, render on the ui and else item recycle from the ui else item recycle from the ui and it makes the app our more optimized or like you know more uh what he has more faster basically so yeah that's all about the uh component in loop with with flat list in the next uh, in the next video uh
we gonna talk about the section list in react native see you in the next video and please let me know if you have any question thank you bye